in the summer of 2020, Bobcat contacted me and said, hey, we are relaunching the green Bobcat mower brand into the white Bobcat mower brand because the white Bobcat company bought the green Bobcat company. We want your help promoting it. Hey, sure thing I said, initially they just wanted to do a short term demo of this. So they were just going to give this to me for a few months. And I was like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but that doesn't really do anything for me. That would, you know, promote your launch and your brand. But if I'm only able to use the mower for a few months that, uh, you know, mainly people come to see my, the work that I do, not necessarily the mowers. So I said, if, if you would love, like me to promote it, I'd love to, but I'd, I'd have to have the mower. And they said, all right, that makes sense. We'll go ahead and do it. So that was the summer of 2020. I think I got it the fall of 2020 and proceeded to make many videos for Bobcat, some of them getting over a million views featuring this mower. At the beginning of 2022, I got a 1099 from Bobcat for this mower. So if you don't know what that means, Bobcat on their back financial end is submitting to the IRS that they compensated me $9,200. And that's essentially the retail value of this mower. And I'm not mad at them for doing that. That may be the way this is supposed to work, but there was never any discussion of that, you know, when they said, hey, Brad, would you like to promote this? If they said, hey, Brad, we'd like you to promote the mower, we'd love to give it to you, but we're going to 1099 it, I probably would have said no, because what that means is it raises my taxable income by $9,200, which means I have to pay taxes on that. So unfortunately, this mower is now costing me about $3,000. So I paid, or I will have to pay in taxes, about $3,000 to work for Bobcat to promote their brand. So again, I'm not mad at Bobcat. I love the machine. There is nothing wrong with this machine. I love the way it cuts and handles, but at the end of the day, it is very underutilized in my business. Out of all my backyards, there's some I can only use my 36 inch on. There's a couple I can use this 48. When the mower didn't cost me anything, hey, no worries, I'll just hang on to it. But now that this mower is gonna cost me about 3,000 bucks in taxes, it just doesn't make any financial sense. Which brings me to the part that would concern you. If you have any interest in a 48 inch stand on mower that has been well maintained, I think I just did the oil and filter changes at 50 hours and right now we're sitting at 67.4 hours. Please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is gonna be all down in the description. I'm gonna be taking pictures and clean this up and list it on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist over the next few days. I have nothing against Bobcat. I love their mowers when they were green. I love them when they turned white. They did some improvements. I love the cut quality of this machine, at least for my local grasses. I guess the cynics out there are gonna say, well, yeah, he's not gonna say, this mower's a piece of dump, you wanna buy it? But I really have been happy with this machine. And it, the only reason I'm, I'm getting rid of it is now because the alternative is that my family is gonna have to come out of pocket $3,000 to have done promotional work for a, what, 100 million billion dollar company? I don't even know what they are. Not mad at Bobcat. The, you're never gonna win against the legal team or the, the financial accounting team. You, you just have to do what they say. No hard feelings or ill wishes there. That is the story, or ends the story, I should say, of the white 48 inch Bobcat. Post some comments to say goodbye and let me know your most memorable video that featured the white 48 inch. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, have a good one, bye.